March 25th, 2022, parent or guardian of Dylan Abramowitz. Dear TVUSD parent slash guardian, we regret to inform you that due to capacity limitations in the special education program at Ango Caliente Elementary School, Dylan will not be granted open enrollment for the 2022-2023 school year. The special education program at Agua Caliente Elementary School is currently at capacity and will be unable to support Dylan in the coming school year. Sincerely, Director of Student Services. March 28th, I went to go get the mail before I picked up my kids from school and I noticed there was a letter in there from the Tank Verde Unified School District. It was almost like I, I had to read it twice to really understand what was being written to me in this letter. Dylan's open enrollment was being revoked. He has ADHD and that requires he be provided extra services to help him through school. My daughter, Alan, Dylan's twin sister, also attends and she did not receive a letter. I didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't want to take both of my children out of school because I didn't want to make my daughter pay a price for something that was happening to my son. Um, and I didn't want to take my son out of the only school he's ever known because he needs that consistency, the structure, the security. Why do you think they did that? My educated guess, my theory, is that he wasn't testing very well. I think it's very hard for him to sit still and try and focus. And how a school performs is largely based on the, t the test scores of the students that are attending. My lawyer with the Arizona Center for Disability Law filed a complaint with the Arizona Department of Education, basically stating all the things that they had failed to do. So their lawyer reached out to my lawyer and said that there had been an error not specifying what the error was, and that Dylan's enrollment has been reinstated. In my case, you know, just looking at my beautiful son, who's already had so many struggles, who already has, you know, challenges, um, just because of the way he's wired, you have this understanding, just this ugliness about the way adults can be and the world can be. And to look at my kid, you know, he's going through something so terrible, so morally and ethically wrong. He doesn't even know about it, you know? Just to know that like the system was committing this horrible act of discrimination against an innocent boy who has done nothing wrong except for be himself and try as hard as he can and love with all of his heart. That's really difficult to watch. I'm being told that I can't have the education for my children that I chose for them. But you cannot turn somebody away based on having a disability. It's just not right. And so you have to right the wrong.